Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing well. It's Luke Taylor here from Setfix Trading. Now in this video, I'm going to give you guys a little breakdown here on your dollar trade I just took upon New York Open. Very simple trade, something you learn in your Setfix mentorship. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check it out if you haven't already. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. So as you can see here, I took a little short on the euro dollar. I just got back today. I took a nice trade yesterday as well on my iPad uh, whilst I was traveling. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward the trade for you. I'm going to let you guys see how it turned out because it could even be a loss. Uh, I'm going to see how, you know, see what you guys think uh, of this sort of type of video. So let me know, um, you know, send me a message or whatever. But yeah, I'm going to speed up after this little brief explanation. So as you can see here, we're overall heading short to the downside. I had a pretty bearish bias. We broke this breaker here, well, which is previous demand. Then on the flip side, we expected it with this wick here. And then we started to create a nice M1 supply chain. And then I entered off the bearish engulfing candle closure. I was simply just looking to target into this low, which lined up with this overall H4 zone anyways. We'll just take a look here on the M1. Nice supply chain. This is something you, you learn in the Cetifex mentorship as well. Nice supply chain. Entered off the bearish engulfing candle. Make sure you always wait for the candle closure because a lot of people rush into it when they see candle like come like this low and then it'll close back up above. So candle closure is very important. I did or may or have gone into a little bit of drawdown, may even be a loss, like I said, you don't know what it's going to be like, but it was a little, um, it was a little drawdown, might even be a loss, but someone's going to ask me, uh, how do you deal with drawdown? And the truth is, when it comes to dealing with drawdown, you just need to build more experience up, you need to get used to it, you need to sort of build the resilience to, you know, being in the minus. It's completely normal, it happens, it happens a lot to me, it's fine. Uh, not on every single trade, because a lot of my trades recently have literally had zero drawdown, especially when you're entering off the candle combination that we use here at ZTFX. It's very, very effective and powerful. But it's um, important to understand that you need to build a, just resilience to it. And you need to sort of, um, uh, through doing that, you need to just gain more experience and just place in more trades. And if you're one of them who, you know, doesn't have, you, you lack confidence while placing trades because you're scared of it doing X, Y, Z, well, then you need to just simply place the trade, but just place it with a 0 0.01 lot so that way you're actually getting into the trade rather than just mark it up and letting it run out that way you're actually getting into the trade you're building up the confidence and also you're getting used to how the trade you know sort of plays out and obviously if it's a win it's going to boost confidence up if it's a loss yeah it's going to set you back a little bit but at least you're actually placing the trade and placing 0 0.01 you're going to lose pennies so i wouldn't worry about that so make sure you do that if you haven't already guys that's one great way to build a confidence but yeah Without further ado, guys, I'm going to speed up the video now, and I won't talk, I'll just put some audio in the background, and check it out, see what you guys think, and let's see if it's a winner or a loser. Yeah. Uh -huh. 